Hi, my name is Yujit Pereira and I'm a part of MAS Pixel. And within MAS Pixel, I'm part of the digital adoption team, which helps uh, businesses adopt the latest technologies out there. So with virtual prototyping, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to create samples digitally on 3D software. So by doing this, we hope to eliminate the need to create a physical garment completely. So in, before a garment is produced in bulk, usually you create a sample. And these samples are broadly broken down into two phases. One is the prototype phase and then the fit phase. And for each of these phases, there are multiple iterations. So every time uh, a change is requested, you have to send this sample across to the customer and get the feedback. So it involves courier charges, the electricity charges, and all the other charges that are associated with creating a sample. So by virtually prototyping, we try to eliminate these unwanted samples and in the meantime, reduce the cost and also make it more eco-friendly. So it's a strategic direction of MAS to completely switch over to virtual prototyping by the year 2022. So to hit the target in 2022, we are currently building the technology that is that is around virtual prototyping or that enables virtual prototyping and uh, we're also training our people uh, to use the software to be experts in this uh, in this area so that we could confidently tell a customer or show a digital garment as well as the physical garment and to build the trust so that they could uh, get on board uh, virtual prototyping as soon as possible. So we're really excited about virtual prototyping and what the technology can do for us as a company and uh, for our customers, how it can help them and also the apparel industry in general. Uh, also the fact that this has uh, a good impact on the environment and MAS has always been a company that, that boldly embraces change uh, and we are ready to embrace this change as well.